Hey guys, no live show this weekend because um, I just did one uh, in the middle of the week or so. Uh, but short comment on Tesla uh, has dropped um, from 265 or so to 230. Last I talked about it, but continue to drop to 210, then back up to 225. Now back to 210, um, and I got liquidated for the first time as I actually bought more shares um, when it went to 210 it went back up to 225 I thought okay, okay we saw the bottom so last Friday or so uh, I bought at 224 but then it drops again to 210 uh, Friday uh, so and because it drops to 210 um, yeah I, I, I'm very close to um, I'm just maxing out the margin I get so I'm buying as much as I can, as much credit as they are willing to give me uh, and that ends up being around 35% margin or so that I get so I'm able to buy about um, double to three times uh, as many shares than the amount of equity I have in the account but um, the consequence is of course also that when price goes down I get forcefully liquidated uh, my broker is selling shares this is, is the first time it happens now and of course that was about that would, would happen it would be quite a lucky a situation that you're uh, you're succeeding in buying uh, maximum margin and it only goes up when you do that no huh? uh, 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 so it's gonna happen it could get much worse actually this morning I woke up uh, from a dream that uh, that Tesla had corrected to $116 and then I got seriously liquidated. Whew. That was quite a, a, a way to wake up. It, yeah, like I lost a lot of money due to that. Because if you remember, when I started investing in Tesla two months ago, I was playing it much more safe. I was taking some margin, but I was only like buying double as many shares than, uh, than the amount of equity I had in the account. Um, and that means that I only would get liquidated if it drops below hundred dollars. That's how I started but Yeah, to me it makes rational sense to do this uh, and, and to max out the amount of leverage I get uh, it, 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 I, I could be wrong. I have actually no experience with leverage. I'm just uh, getting started with that but the way the system works from my calculations I did it looks like um, you do make small, uh, you do make extra losses as as long as the move, the, 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 it goes sideways, up, down, up, down. Huh? But um, as long as you buy back uh, the shares that you lost, mm -hmm. uh, as it goes back up, then um, um, yeah, uh, of course you always will be able to buy less because you always lose some money. Uh, but uh, once it takes off, uh, you will sit on uh, uh, roses uh, because you will have many more shares uh, than uh, the amount of shares you would have had if you would have invested just with your own equity and not have used any margin. Mm -hmm. um, of course, time is a factor here. Um, the longer it takes and the more the mo market moves sideways, down, up, down, up, you, uh, the less profits you make, the less shares you will have. But it is, it has to be quite very extreme to end up with less shares I, than if you would have just invested with the equity that you have. Um, that, that, that's a very extreme and therefore unlike, unlikely scenario. Um, but um, yeah, uh, uh, I, had, I had hoped uh, for it to, 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 to actually, I, I was thinking just looking at the chart that it corrected basically very very quickly from around 280 dollars or so to 180 dollars in i think it was two months time or so so i was like thinking like most likely is that it will go at the same speed back up especially if indeed stock markets um uh, continue to be bullish and while well, the s p 500 broke the all-time high so we are bullish and um uh, 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 even though it corrects a little bit, uh, 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 we're still very bullish. Uh, stock market sh still just broke the all-time high, and, and and so it's very likely to explode on the upside. Uh, 
Um, and the same, therefore, is true for Tesla, even more so. Huh? So yeah, um, uh, uh, if if some if some of you or someone of you uh, has experience with leverage and, and thinks I'm making a mistake here, let me know. Huh? Uh, but um, um, yeah, um, I, from the calculations I did, uh, 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 I shared a video about it. I will link it below. It looks like uh, I will um, I will not. Uh, I, you're not like. If Tesla indeed would correct to $100 in my case, uh, I, I will not lose everything. Uh, um, because the lower it goes, the more shares are sold. And therefore, um, the less losses I make. Um, and, 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 but I, I remain leveraged, of course. Huh? Um, yeah, that's how it works. But also to the upside, the, more, the higher it goes, the more shares I have and the more profits I make. That's how it works. It's a different way of investing. I think that, that for me, the way I approach this, I'm not a technical analyst. Huh? Uh, uh, and I, I don't really believe in that. Uh, I mean, yes, I believe it's possible uh, to become good at that. Uh, but it's much, much, much harder than being a good value investor. And, and that's how I have invested as a value investor, a long-term value investor. So I take a position in, usually <laughs> it goes lower than I expect and I end up buying more as it goes down more. Huh? And so in this case, I thought waking up uh, from a nightmare like that, I thought about what's the right course of action if that would happen for me. Well. It would mean that actually my 60 year now 55% exposure in, in, in Tesla um, would probably go down to maybe like 20 or 10% exposure eh, if that would happen. And I would ha end up only being left with my crypto that would be about 80% exposure in my portfolio. What's the right course of action there? It's to balance. Eh? Like, what's the risk reward when Tesla goes down? to $116 or $100 or below $100, what's the risk reward compared to today? Ah, it's much better huh? um, because it's half price of what it is today uh, and probably market sentiment is extremely negative. Uh, probably the, 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 the short position that is already at an, uh, at a, an, at an, uh, at a, an extreme high point compared to other stocks will then be at never seen a heights before in the stock market. So um, there will be many indicators that uh, in the short term that will be a very good investment. So the right move for me then is to, of course, first um, cry a little <laughs> or a lot uh, about losing a lot of money. But the next step is to stand back up and invest more if the fundamentals have stayed the same for Tesla. Uh, but just the price went down. Uh, it just means that instead of going to a 50% exposure, the right course of action is go to a 60% or 70% exposure huh? uh, to, to invest more than I did last time. Huh? But uh, you don't want to do that too quickly. Such moves, of course, huh? uh, but in steps. So that would be, I think. And of course, when it comes to leverage, do exactly the same. Huh? Um, uh, take again max again my leverage out around those prices huh? uh, uh, yeah uh, I think that makes a lot of sense uh, there is always a small chance that the market uh, uh, does absolutely irrational and unreasonable things and things like there is always a small chance in the case of Tesla that it goes broke but the, the chance is so small like yeah, never invest everything. Uh, uh, take that very small chance into account. Make sure you have some other investments always. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think that's the right course of action. So I think Tesla at the 210, the market opens on Monday. <laughs> the market was very negative on Friday. Short term, it's bullish and long term, it's also bullish. Eh? Short term is bullish because market is negative eh? and people are really concerned about a recession. I've made many v videos about that why I think it's not likely. Um, and uh, a president uh, creating a trade wars. Um, uh, you have to understand that, that presidents 
um, don't uh, like they follow like presidents have have not so much impact on the world as is uh, as people think um, the markets move and I've talked about this also many times uh, based on supply and demand. Eh? There are very big cycles of stock bulls or stock bears, of commodity bulls, of commodity bears. Eh? Um, and, and these things are what really uh, uh, guide the market, eh? not uh, uh, stupid actions by presidents. Eh? Um, actually, what they do is, is as a consequence of what the markets do. So I think this is an opportunity to raise your exposure to Tesla. Um, the prices are still very good. Um, if you have done that already, also to raise the leverage uh, that you take. Think about being able to borrow at 4%. Um, yeah, like apply the logic. Why, why only do that for real estate and not for stocks? Um, yeah uh, also think about diversification this is something that has helped me back a lot for example i sold home i had like 10 percent of my brokerage account in home i sold it for a loss about 20 percent loss or so um because i realized that actually no it was not the right course of action uh yeah you want to stay focused on what you really believe in uh, what you believe is like an outstanding opportunity um, and that means concentration and not diversification. Huh? Um, yeah, check my Twitter also. I make tweets from time to time that are very valuable. Huh? So um, thanks for watching. I wish you a great weekend.